Hey everyone, Tinkter offers great modules and that's what we are going to talk about today. While using a class in Tinkter, the module first assembles a TCL or TK command string. Now the Tinkter package is the standard Python interface to the TCL or TK GUI toolkit. TCL or TK is not a single library but a collection of various modules. If you're not familiar with the TCL or TK, I will just write down the architecture briefly for you. So TCL is a dynamic interpreted dynamic interpreted programming language. Just like Python, it is another programming language which is written in C. It is most commonly embedded into C applications. We talked about this last time that TCL is mostly written in C. Then comes TK. TK is a TCL package implemented in C. So what is TK? TK is a TCL package. It is used to add custom commands to create and manipulate GUI widgets. Okay. Then we have theme TK or we can call it TTK. It is a newer family of TK widgets. It provides a much better appearance. So this was all about the architecture. Now about the modules available in Tinkter, we would talk about some useful modules and to get a better idea of how they work, we will see some examples too. Now TTK is very important as a module. So it provides you upgraded widgets. So the widgets here are upgraded than the main Tinkter module. Okay. We can also talk about the color chooser module, which lets you choose a color in Tinkter. To just show you how it works, I'll write a piece of code. Now I'll import Tinkter. I'll write from Tinkter import TTK. And I'll import Tinkter.colorchooser. That's the module I was talking about. Then I'll declare the window container. I'll write win equals Tinkter.tk. We did this in the last program. I'll also give in a title. Let the title be Tinkter Color Chooser. Then I'll define the change color function. I'll write def change color. Don't worry if you don't understand what is happening in this program. Uh, it's completely fine because we have not discussed any of it. I am just writing this as an example to just show you what the color chooser module can do. Then I'll define this function. I'll write colors equals tincture dot color chooser dot ask color. I use the ask color function. And then I'll configure. I'll write win dot configure pg equals color one. Now to call on this function, I'll make a button. I'll write ttk dot button. So I've used the ttk module button and not the regular one and i'll call in the window i'll write the text pick color and the command would be change color i'll call in this function and then i'll pack this then i'll call in the main loop cool so what i have done is i have made a button which when clicked will call in this change color function and you'll be asked to pick a color and it'll change the background color to that color cool so let's run this and see if we can change the background colors so i have the screen let me resize it now i'll pick a color click on this button so i have this new window or a pop-up box you can say i'll pick any color and select ok and i have it as the background color you can even change this color. Let me pick another color. Click OK and I have a different shade. Cool. So that's what Tinkter Color Chooser module can do. Now if we talk about the other modules that we have, we can talk about common dialogue module. So basically we have many modules to create dialogues in Tinkter. This module is the base class for getting dialogues. We can also have file dialog. It is used to get dialogs to save or open the specified file. We have simple dialogs for the dialogs. 
we can also have font module uh, so it is used for writing fonts I'll just show you an example how we do that so I'll just comment this piece of code and okay I'll declare a variable let it be Georgia equals tk font dot font and family equals Georgia size 30 weight bold that's how you declare a font and uh, you can declare a lot of things I have declared the family size and weight you can even declare if it needs to be slant if it needs to be italic or Roman or if it needs to be underlined or if it needs to be overstruck you can even do that then we can have other modules like the message boxes so I'll just write down something for that too I'll import Tinkter and from Tinkter I'll import message box okay, I'll just define another function so I'll write def dialog message box dot show error answer sorry no answer available okay and then I'll again declare a button ttk dot button text equals answer and I'll call in the main loop fine so let's see what we get So I have my screen and let me resize it again and I'll click on this answer button so I get a pop-up it says sorry no answer available and I'll click on ok and I'll exit the screen so that's what we have when we use the message box module we can talk about many more modules in Dinkter we have scrolled text module so we can get a text widget with a vertical scroll bar it's all built in we have idle lib module constants module dnd module text module we also have total module it's a very powerful gui with great applications and i'd really like you to check out the total module because it's really amazing and you can do a lot with total too that's pretty much it about the modules in Dinkter. Thank you.